Hi, this is Marlon Balbastro from WizByte Creatives. And today I'm going to show you how to create a simple and easy cartoon effect in Photoshop. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to WizByte Creatives, hit that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. Alright, so let's get started. WizByte Creatives the first step is to open your photo and convert it to smart object. Open your crop tool and select aspect ratio with by high by resolution. Keep empty the width field. For the height, type in 900 pixels and for the resolution, type in 150 pixels per inch. Drag any of the crop boundaries in or out to crop your image. Then, click the check mark at the top. To fit your image back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Next, make two copies of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Name the bottom layer, Stamp. The next layer, Hard Light. And the top layer, Cut Out. Click the eyeball icons of the top two layers to temporarily hide them. Make sure your foreground color is set to white black. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Stamp. For this example, I'll make the light dark balance 1 and the smoothness 1. However, feel free to adjust these amounts. Remember, because your image is a smart object, you can change or adjust the filters at any time. Make the middle layer visible and active. Change its blend mode to hard light. Make the top layer visible and active. Change its blend mode to multiply. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. Close the Sketch folder and open the Artistic folder. Click Cut Out. I'll make the number of levels, 6. The Edge Simplicity, 7. And the Edge Fidelity, 1. Then, click OK. To change the shapes of the colors and their amount, Double-click Filter Gallery in the top layer to open back up the cutout filter. Have fun experimenting with the amounts. If your image is too dark, as in this example, to lighten it, shift-click on the bottom layer to make all the layers active and merge them into a smart object. Go to Image, Adjustments and Shadow Highlights. The shadow's amount defaults to 35%, however, feel free to adjust this amount. Then, click OK. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Color Lookup. Click 3D LUT file and select 3 strips look. This is Marlon Balbastro from WizByte Creatives. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.